D O N U T. Donuts on my titties. Hello, tomatoes. How are you today? I'm fantastic. So, y'all, today's gonna be fun. I'm making a donut pizza. No big deal. It's a big deal. It is not gonna be a salty pizza. It's gonna be a sweet pizza. So, it's like a dessert pizza. And I really think it's gonna taste really good because the crust will be literally made out of donuts, which is then gonna be covered in donuts and a chocolate ganache. Yeah, I'm making a ganache. And a bunch of other stuff. It's gonna literally be amazing. I cannot wait to taste this. And y'all, I'm on a diet. I've lost 40 some pounds. I got like 16 to go. Yay me! But a lot of y'all comment and you're like, Timmy, you're not on a diet. You eat all these DIYs. Must be so many calories. It is so many calories. But guess what? I don't eat these DIYs for every meal. I eat literally for every meal of the week. Like chicken tit, broccoli, lean cuisine. Wait, why did I start talking about my diet again? Oh, yes. <laughs> Because I had to buy so many donuts. Donuts here. Donuts here and here. And more donuts. And I haven't been able to have a bite. But I am going to taste this once the pizza is done. So I'm really excited for that. It's going to be worth it. But before we start, if you are feeling this video and you're feeling my vibe, hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe. Or if you want to wait to the end of the video to subscribe to make sure you actually like me. You can do that, but I'm, I'm going to be the same way the whole video. So you might as well subscribe now. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's go make our chocolate ganache. And our donut visa. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start by making the actual crust of the pizza. Obviously, it's going to be a big donut-shaped crust. Because guess what? I'm not making a damn croissant pizza. <laughs> and now, for the crust, I'm going to use a whole lot of donuts. So, I found these, like, dry, cakey donuts. Because that's, like, the texture that I need for the crust, right? Because I'm, I'm going to crumble them up. But, y'all, there was only one of these at the store. And I was shook. So, instead, I found these little ones. <laughs> They're, like, cinnamon flavor, but it's fine. It's going to taste delicious. I got, like... So many. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna open up all my donuts. I don't even know if they're gonna fit in here. Oh my, it smells so good. Oh, y'all, I love these like cakey donuts. Let's let's just see the texture real quick. Oh, this is the texture of my ass. I wish. <laughs> and I'm gonna start by adding one bag of these little mini ones because I don't know if I'll actually need all three. I thought I would, but the bowl is almost full. Oh my, these ones smell. So good, they're cinnamon. Oh, they're crumbly. Okay, so y'all, I'm gonna just go in with my hands and start to crush these up, okay? Oh, this is satisfying. Oh my god, you guys, this is like um, one of those slime videos, like on Instagram, where they're like, and they always do that <laughs> with their fingertips. And like, <laughs> it's already turning into kind of like a doughy texture, which I love. So basically, I'm just gonna crumble them into like as fine of a powder as I can because I'm gonna try to turn this back into dough. So this is gonna be my flour. <laughs> just because I want that donut flavor that these store-bought ones have, but I still want the crust to feel like pizza dough. I don't know. This is all literally an experiment, so just bear with me. Okay, I think I'm gonna need more, so I'm gonna add in the rest of my donuts. Don't tell. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god, Timmy put a half-eaten donut back in his crust? Other people are gonna eat this. That's so disgusting. Bitch, do you think I'm really gonna share? <laughs> okay, so now I'm just crushing up the rest of the donuts, getting it all incorporated. It turns out I think I got the perfect amount. Okay, so as y'all can see, this is literally turned into kind of like a dough already. It's just really crumbly. So I'm gonna add a few things to turn it into an actual pie crust. By the way, I think I said pie crust. I meant pizza crust. <laughs> Sometimes I get my words mixed up because I was homeschool. My mom literally taught me how to read. She did a great job though, but what's the difference between a pizza and a pie crust? <laughs> I wasn't taught that. Okay, so I'm going to add two eggs, actually two large eggs. <laughs> Did y'all hear that sound? It sounded like a like an ass cheek flapping onto a chair. I hear that every time I sit on the couch to watch TV. <laughs> and that was the other cheek. And now I'm going to add some white frosting. I'm just gonna, okay, that might be a lot. Wait. <laughs> okay, that's good. So I'm gonna mix that together. It was the everlasting twerk. It smells so incredible. It actually smells literally like a big donut. Okay, so y'all, as you can see, it's almost turned into like a cookie dough consistency. And it actually looks kind of like a pizza dough color almost. It's just a little more brown. Okay, so let's get our pan out, y'all. Okay, so I got my pan, which is actually still kind of dirty. My sister washed it. Thank you, Sal. <laughs> I just sprayed it with some Pamela. I'll spray a little more. 
Now I'm just gonna line it with some parchment paper so that nothing sticks. Oh. Uh. And y'all, when this gets ugly, <laughs> there's corners and shit, I just rip it off. Rip it off, bitch. Okay, that was a little much. That was a little extra. And I'm just gonna plop it. Oh my god. And literally form a big circle. Ass chick slapping in the air. Titty slapping on my face. I don't want to look all lumpy and bumpy like this. What do I do? It looks like my cellulite. I'm going to just kind of turn over the edges to make a nice little crust. Nice little pizza crust, because this is a pizza. <laughs> And now, of course, what would a donut be without a hole? I mean, what would I be without a hole? So I have to create a hole. Everlasting twerk. I just want to eat this, but there's raw egg in it, and I do not want salmonella. Does salmonella come from salmon? <laughs> okay, that is, that's a beautiful hole. <laughs> like, that's the most perfect hole I've ever seen. It's also hairless. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350. I don't know if that will be the correct temperature for something like this, but this is literally from my brain, so I'm just gonna go with it. And I'm just gonna bake it until it looks like harder and crispier, I don't know. Oh wait, actually, before I go, I'm, what I'm gonna do is kinda stretch the hole out a bit more, but as I do that, I'm gonna kind of like create a little wall by pushing it back, because when I put on my toppings, I don't really want them to fall through. Fun fact, did you know that if you spell donut backwards, it says gaping hole? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, you guys, so I cooked it, it finished baking. Wait, by the way, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's last night's chicken breast pan, okay? Again, I love chicken breasts. It finished baking and it looks amazing like it turned really dry looking and a little puffy and it actually looks a lot like like some sort of wheat pizza crust i'm kind of shook that this was donuts before like i'm a genius <laughs> now it does feel very very soft but i'm gonna let it um completely cool down okay so my crust has literally cooled completely and it feels so much more firm and hard and like a real crust so now i'm gonna make my chocolate ganache as my first layer of toppings this is gonna be delicious let me show y'all how to do it. I'm gonna take a bowl which is stained with some sort of old ramen noodle or something. What is that? I'm gonna take a bunch of chocolate chips. I got dark chocolate. So I'm just gonna whatever all of it <laughs> whatever and I'm gonna take like a half a cup I think of heavy cream <laughs> that bowl is way too big and I'm just gonna microwave it until it's really hot okay you're supposed to do this on like a double broiler on the stove and all this bullshit and I'm like this look like I want to take my time and cook this on a stove and make a pot dirty no I'm gonna put this in the microwave. <laughs> now y'all, this is actually my first time making chocolate ganache. And I'm really excited because I don't know why, it always looks so delicious. Like people put it over cakes and stuff. Y'all know like those little mini donuts that have like the chocolate coating. That's what I want this ganache to do to my donut pizza. I want it to be my chocolate coating. You know what I mean? Okay, my cream started bubbling in the microwave so I'm pretty sure it's done. I'm just gonna pour it over my chocolate chips. And just literally just let that sit there for like a couple minutes maybe. And then I'm gonna mix it up and it's gonna just gonna all come together and turn into a beautiful shiny thing. Like y'all, chocolate ganaches always look shiny as hell. I'm always like, yeah, where'd you get that highlighter though? <laughs> I'll be back in five minutes. Okay, so it should be melted all the way. Let's see, let's try to mix it and see what happens. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Wait, hold on. It's all melted, y'all. Now watch the magic happen. I think it's gonna turn to a ganache now. Ball sack slip from side to side. Asshole clapping with the face. Everlasting twerk. This is the texture of a chocolate ganache. See, it isn't like melted chocolate. It's a lot smoother and creamier because it has literally heavy cream in it. Oh, that is glorious. Oh my god. So gorgeous. Okay, so now we're gonna put this on our donut pizza. I'm just gonna take one of these little, oh my gosh, shook. <laughs> Leave the crust bare because this is gonna be like a surprise layer under the frosting, okay? For it's so smooth, I can't get over this. I'm always making ganaches from now on every day. I'm gonna have ganache for breakfast, y'all. We went back to my place. 
that's the first layer of our pizza toppings. I'm gonna put this in the fridge and hopefully it'll set a little bit. I don't want it to harden, but just kind of set so I can put stuff on top of it, okay? So I'll put this in the fridge, I'll be back. The ganache is almost set, so I'm gonna start to make our next layer, which is actually very simple. I don't have to really make anything. I'm just gonna take some pink frosting. Ugh. And I'm going to melt it in the microwave until it's more liquidy. So probably like, I don't know, 30 seconds, a minute, something like that. I'll be back. Okay, so it melted like in 30 seconds and it's literally liquid. Okay, my ganache is basically set. It's still soft, but if you touch it, it doesn't really like come off on your finger. So it's set, but it's it's like still creamy. I, that's what I love about ganache. It's nice and custardy, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so like the ganache is our sauce layer, right? Now, this pink frosting is basically our cheese. So I'm just gonna put it on top of the ganache. I think I'm gonna have a baby. So I'm just gonna spread it around a little bit so that it can hopefully kind of cover the ganache and look really beautiful. Oh no, it's kind of melting into the ganache. Okay, that's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh my God, gonna be a mom. I think the daddy's name was Tom. So now of course, because it's a donut pizza, we need to add sprinkles. It's just like, it's a rule of life. That was my very last twerk. Okay, so there's the sprinkles. And now you guys, for the last Thing. I got these donuts from my local supermarket bakery, literally. And I'm just gonna put them on top as the toppings, like they're like pepperonis. Time to twerk or clap my lips. Very last twerk. Very last twerk of my life. And that's it. That. <laughs> is the donut pizza, y'all. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to eat this. I think it's gonna taste amazing. Let me show y'all some better angles, okay? Oh. Look at this. I love you with all my heart. It's huge, it's huge. Now, the question is, <laughs> will it holds together like a pizza once I slice it. Let's see. Okay, it feels really hard. Let me point this down for a minute so y'all can see. Mm, which one should I have? I think I'll have a slice of this part. Oh my God, it's slicing through perfectly. I think it's gonna hold together. And the chocolate ganache is so smooth to cut through. Okay, let's try to lift it. By the way, don't look, that's for another DIY. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. You guys, it's pizza. I genuinely did not think it would hold together this well. It looks like crust. What even? Look at the layer of ganache, you guys. <gasps> my ganache. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so excited to taste this, you guys. I'm ready, I'm ready, okay. I'm gonna get a part of the donut, part of the ganache, part of everything. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that is possibly one of the best desserts I've ever had in my life. I just feel more connected to life itself right now. I want more. This pizza. This pizza! I honestly don't think I've ever tasted anything better than this. Not even just desserts, like all time food. This is the best thing ever. Like it's so good. The crust literally is still so soft, but it holds together and it just tastes like a donut. Like the crust literally tastes like a donut. The chocolate ganache is so smooth. Like it, it sets, but it does not get hard. It's almost like biting into like a really thick Nutella. Uh, it was all like, put together everything, and of course the donuts on top is like amazing. If anyone's having a birthday party or they just wanna eat like a billion calories, this is like the best thing ever. It's so good, it isn't that hard to make, you just make the crust and then you just make the ganache and that's it, you put everything else on top. I feel fulfilled. Thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to become a tomato, and if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up the donut hole. <laughs> I'll see you guys next video, I love you so much. Ooh, boo, boo.